My recent comparison of carried irons versus the ACOG, I found that I could score almost as well on an AQT with arms. The excellent Palmetto State Armory carry handle sight is needlessly heavy though. Just don't need the carry part. So I started looking for high quality fixed irons packages. Schaefer Machining 6061 aluminum front and rear fixed irons are 11 ounces lighter than the ACOG and even less top heavy or tippy and 9 ounces lighter than the carry handle A2 front sight setup. With these sights, my UTG Pro Ambi AR drops below 6 pounds. Less mass for Ambi transitions and snap shooting, and it is very noticeable. The $190 Schaefer sights also save about $1,300 compared to the ACOG. So weight savings and cost savings are significant. Consider the opportunity cost for each. More money for ammo and training. Weight savings means another mag of ammo in your loadout. We do give up the click adjustable elevation wheel of the carry handle sight. I kind of miss it, but without it, there is a simple battle sight zero guideline. Room clearing, dead on using just the front sight shroud. 100 yards, aim for the belt buckle belly button for center of mass hit. To 300 yards, point of aim packed and point of impact pretty close. 400 yards, aim at the head for center of mass hit. The Schaefer iron sights mounted beautifully on our UTG Pro based AMBAR project rifle. The rear atop the receiver, the front out on the end of the Breek Arms handguard. I started off zeroing right handed and found that I had to max out the windage all the way left. Merited investigation. The sights were obviously properly mounted. Then I noticed that the barrel was not precisely centered in the handguard. A bit of research and I found the KAK handguard deflection test, link in the description. It seems they tested four handguards and it was quite normal to see a five minute of angle deflection. This works out to about two hundredths of an inch at the end of the handguard or about five inches at 100 yards or 10 inches at 200. Since I routinely sink into a loop sling both left and right handed with the forward sling QD mounted out of the end of the handguard, well, this looks about as smart as doing lead sled load testing atop a portable plastic table. A scan of iron sight service rifle competitors. I do not see anyone using iron mounted on the handguard. Seems they're all using an A2 barrel mounted front sight gas block. So, I picked up an F height A2 FSB from BCM. Drilled and tapped for 1032 threads for set screw mounting. Added a second dimple in the gas block journal. Mounted the front sight base to the barrel and removed the Schaefer front sight. I can detect the added weight of the front sight base, but it's well worth it for the additional three and a half inches of sight radius. Overall, 20 inches. I'm very happy with my Schaefer rear sight and BCM front sight setup. Lots of sight radius and a featherweight system, and it handles blowing snow better than optics. No frost on the lens, snow on the peep, just blow it clean.